Well, hello. This is Rose from The Perfect Rose, www.theperfectrose.ca. And one of the things I wanted to share about today is if you use your spirituality to manifest it, you might need to use your spirituality to keep it. Over the years, as one who facilitates for others doing readings and energy work, I, one of the things that I've noticed is a lot of people will turn themselves, you know, go into the law of attraction or different things like that, or turn to their spirituality when they want something in particular. And I know for a fact, even when I've read for people that in a lot of cases, I've assisted them in manifesting what they wanted from that experience. But in a lot of cases, they might not necessarily continue to use their spirituality after. And sometimes it's a little tougher to keep it if you've used your spirituality to get it. So that's why I want to remind people that when you use your spirituality or your, your, your manifestation capabilities to get something, you may need to continue to use them to keep it because in a lot of cases you would have had to change your thought processes or something in your reality for you to have attracted the thing in the first place. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because I think uh, we are a kind of a society uh, that where we just, I just want the goods, I just want it, you know, I just want it, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting those things, but it's really important for you to realize that it, it shows you that it's possible, but it also, it takes a, a little bit of daily work or at least trying to pick up a little bit where you left off for it to continue. Anyway, lots of love to you and I look forward to serving you when the time is right. Bye for now.